Today, we are whipping up one seriously easy, seriously tasty pasta salad. This is bow tie pasta salad and it has a little bit of Italian flair and a whole lot of flavor. So before we actually throw everything together, let's talk about what goes in it. So bow tie pasta is also called farfalle pasta. It's really great because it has all these little nooks and crannies that'll catch the dressing and hold in that flavor. If you can't find farfalle, don't worry, no big deal. You could use rotini, penne, any pasta that's capable of trapping a sauce and is bite-sized will work for this recipe. Next, black olives. These are just standard black olives drained out of a can. If you wanna get fancy with your olives, you could totally throw in some Kalamata. Just know that that olive flavor is gonna be much stronger with a Kalamata than just a standard black olive. Next, some cherry or grape tomatoes. I have a mix of both in here. I really like using cherry or grape tomatoes in pasta salads because they hold up better and they don't get mushy and pulpy like a regular diced tomato would. Of course, you cannot have Italian bow tie pasta salad without an Italian dressing. I just have this creamy Italian dressing. Olive Garden is my go-to brand. Once they started selling it at the grocery store, I never looked back at any other Italian dressings ever. We're gonna add a pop of freshness to this pasta salad with a little bit of fresh basil. And last but not least, one of my favorite ingredients, mozzarella cheese. I have already cooked my farfalle pasta according to package directions in a heavily salted pot of boiling water. I let it drain and cool slightly. You want it to still be a little bit warm because those warm noodles are going to absorb that dressing a little bit better and that flavor is gonna really get in there and stay put. So I'm gonna drizzle it with some of that Italian dressing and give it a little stir. Okay, and then I'm just gonna set this off to the side, let it marinate for a little bit while we're prepping the rest of the ingredients. Now you can go about prepping the basil for the salad in one of two ways. I'm just taking the leaves and stacking them one on top of the other. If you want to just use a pair of kitchen shears, that's totally fine. It doesn't have to be very small. You can just snip it right in just like so, or you can roll it up, take a knife, and cut it into strips. I'm just layering one more stack of basil leaves. And if you'll notice, I'm gonna keep some here off to the side so that we can use that for garnish. And then we'll give it just one more run through with a knife. Perfect, into the bowl. Now, as far as the black olives go, if you want them in smaller pieces, you can chop them up. I'm gonna go ahead and just dump them right in. Now, for these little grape and cherry tomatoes, I'm actually going to call upon my serrated paring knife. Nothing cuts a tomato better than a serrated knife. So I'm just cutting them in half and then throwing them right in the bowl. Okay, now on to my favorite of all the ingredients, as I mentioned before, the mozzarella cheese. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the cheese into cubes, just little bite-sized cubes. What happens is the cheese absorbs all of that vinegary flavor and it adds this delicious acidic bite to the cheese and it is to die for. We'll finish it off with the rest of that Italian dressing. Just pour it right over, give it a stir. You wanna finish it off with a little bit of salt and of course, a pinch of pepper. Now you wanna let this marinate in the fridge for at least a few hours. Better if you can let it marinate overnight. That's when that mozzarella cheese is really going to start taking in all that yummy flavor. And then once it's good and chilled and marinated, it's time to serve. The pasta salad is good and marinated. Just gonna add it to the serving bowl. And remember how we reserved that basil. Just gonna set this off to the side. Grab a few leaves here, roll them up, give them a good chop. Sprinkle that basil right over. And here we have the ultimate trifecta of a dish when it comes to entertaining. Beautiful, easy, 
and delicious. Let's see how we did. Get a taste, you know I'm going for that cheese in there. It almost doesn't seem fair that you could work so little for something so delicious, but that's exactly what you get when it comes to this pasta salad. It is delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Anthony Kitchen, and to theanthonykitchen.com where this recipe and so many others live. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.